start your own business. Reverse engineer your truth. It's all self-awareness and then putting yourself in a position to succeed. Mix patience with ambition and hope that I get gratitude. Other times I hope that I get Spanish chicks with attitude. No, it's not easy telling your truth. All right. It's a done deal. It's a pretty good start, I would say. I want to give me one like a DJ Khaled, but, you know, step by step. I'm digging it. More nature to appreciate. Yeah. All right, that's about that. What's up, guys? Uh, we're back at, at the house. Um, work this morning again, as usual. And um, I'm about to meditate and edit yesterday's video. I was gonna edit it. I was gonna edit it yesterday, but some things got in the way. Some unexpected things happened. So adapting intuitively, as I said. And um, I was gonna do it. I was really thinking about um, going to bed really late again so I could finish editing it. But nah, I decided it was better uh, to get some good sleep and um, wake up energized today. I went to work, got here, and I finished up some things in the garden. We had to throw the red stuff uh, around the garden. So, yeah, I did that and um, took a shower. And now I'm back in here. I'm about to meditate, as I said, edit yesterday's video. Um, but I'm doing this first. Um, I was thinking, like, this recording myself is really like a... I used to journal, journal every morning just to write down my thoughts. Um, and before I went to bed, not every day, but I used to do it pretty often. And now this has really replaced that. It's the same thing, pretty much, vlogging as journaling. But um, this has really become, recording myself and this vlog has really become just another factor, um, just keeping me on the path, you know, just another factor keeping me on the, fa on the path. And... And yeah, I think it's useful in that sense to me, um, personally. And obviously what I'm saying hopefully inspires people and what I'm doing hopefully inspires people to uh, take responsibility for their own life, their own potential. That's the goal here, as I've said repeatedly. Um, but there is no factor, there is no better factor, no bigger factor than your truth, than your self-awareness. Um, then you, there's no bigger factor than you knowing what you want out of life. That's self-awareness, knowing what the fuck you want out of life. Um, there's no bigger factor than that. So, yeah, I'm going to keep mentioning self-awareness probably every day because that's, that's the key. Knowing yourself. Um, knowing yourself, reverse engineer it. That's the biggest factor, man. Knowing myself and knowing what makes me happy. Knowing what really will make me happy not the you know the one or two hits you know not that blunt <laughs> not that uh you high for a couple hours then it drops you back down nah like i'm not seeking no temporary uh pleasure you know no external stimulations also because i just want I just want to use my truth, my self-awareness, my gratitude as my fuel and as my as my source of happiness also. Not only my fuel, but my source of happiness. Not only my fuel to give, but also my source of happiness to myself, you know. And yeah, it's all in pursuit of depth and joy. I heard a guy say that and it's... I, relate to that a lot depth depth and like seeing the depth of reality and joy the joy of giving the joy of living you know but yeah I'm gonna meditate right now 
And yeah, that's that. Alrighty, finna meditate for an hour. Showing the time again. 7.36, I mean 7.35, I say 7.36, by the time I get to this chair. It's 7.36, put in the time in now. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> Amazing meditation once again. This one was even better. Yeah, man. The more you do it, the smoother it gets and the better experiences you can achieve with it real talk and um, tomorrow I'm gonna order I'm gonna go uh, deposit some money so I can order the, li the light so I could get uh, some badass lighting lighting ah, lighting or I don't even know how to spell that or pronounce that a good ass light so you can see me so I can get uh, high quality videos and um, yeah, I'm finna edit, it, edit the video, and um, I'm planning the launch for tomorrow, so I got a lot to do tonight. Let's see how that goes. I don't have to work in a job for the rest of my life. I can create the life I desire. Okay, okay. Poor Cat isn't convinced. Poor Cat says, the more I save, the more money I will have. That's a good one. That's what we were taught. Penny saved is a penny earned. Okay. Rich Cat says this. I not only save, I also invest. Investing, what I've learned along my journey, is the secret to creating wealth and abundance, which is really our natural birthright anyway. Look, go into nature and you just see massive trees. They're just growing and growing. They're not like, I'm going to stop growing right now. They grow to as tall as they can possibly be. Can I get a hello? <laughs> right? So I've realized that it's about having that balance of saving and then investing. And that's how you receive back. If you don't put anything out there, give anything, invest in yourself, you're not going to get anything back. you got to put that money up, baby. Okay. Poor Cat says this, though. If I work really hard, blood, sweat, and tears, my life's hard. No, it's hard. Okay. Gosh. I will become rich. The rich cat says this, that my whole goal in life is to work less and get paid more 
to work smarter every single day to make life work for me in my favor. Can you see how that mindset is very empowering? Sometimes the more you do, the less you get. And the less you do, the more you get. That's the secret of life. <laughs> the path of least resistance. Water going down a beautiful river will take the most energy efficient route. Nature doesn't like a lot of problems. I don't want to trouble, right? Porka says this, blessed are the poor, they will inherit the earth. They're humble. If you are poor, you are humble automatically. Do you know I've seen some very arrogant poor people who are far from humble. I've met some very humble rich people. The rich cat says this, blessed are the rich because they have more to give. That's what it's all about. Two totally different mind states. That's the only reason why I want wealth to give. I will wait to do what I want to do. For opportunities to have the freedom their way to, to give me. and create. I will look for a job. The rich cat says, "I will create opportunities. I will create my own job." Bam. And this is what I'm doing right now. Baby. Because <laughs> I can create my own reality. So, rich cat, poor cat, it is fascinating. Poor cat, rich cat. Everything we attract in this life is based on our attitude. There's also that great book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? I have poor cat, rich cat. <laughs> So remind yourself that abundance is the true natural state. Are you the poor cat or are you the rich cat? And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Yeah. Can Boom. Editing yesterday's vlog. Um, it is 12.03. I finished finish editing this vlog and and, um, I'm gonna edit today's vlog also. Tomorrow's a big day, I guess. I'm finna launch the channel. I'm making a new intro video. Um, I had already made one, but uh, I just found. Um, I know I can make a better one, and I know the introduction video matters. First impression matters for people whenever they go into your channel. Plus, I wanna make it short and straight to the point. Um, yeah, so I'm going to improve the introduction video tomorrow. I'm going to go buy all the vegetarian meals because I'm finally fucking off um, since I started doing this. Um, I'm off tomorrow and Friday, and I'm going to be launching the channel. going to go to Walmart, get all my veggie meals. I'm going to go do some exercise also. Um, and who knows? Who knows what's next? But tonight, um, I'm gonna finish editing the videos and and try to plan try to plan better for tomorrow. Um, try to develop marketing strategies as far as like how I'm gonna go about releasing videos, how I'm gonna be posting on social media, just to simplify my life. You know, simplify how I'm gonna be doing this, save myself time, be efficient with, with how I'm doing this. Um, Cause I gotta keep my mental health and you know my soul you know my spirituality first so um i want to simplify all the things that are um that relate to me hustling or or simplify everything really i want to simplify as much as, po as possible my giving my contribution to the world which is this obviously my music me learning music all of that i want to simplify all of it as much as i can and i'm going to try to do that tonight so I can uh, just be, save myself time, you know. Um, I'm going to try to schedule things ahead of time. Um, but still adapt intuitively because there's no way around that. Things are going to come up and you got to adapt. 
So it's, I'm gonna be achieve, trying to achieve a balance, you know, between my intuition, adapting intuitively, and planning. I'm still gonna plan, but um, as things come up, I'll adapt. Um, so yeah, that's that. So peace out, man. That's gonna be the end for today's today's vlog. Tomorrow's a big day. Keep watching. If one can be on all the time in wakefulness and asleep, simply on for whatever reason, he's a devotee. Only a devotee can be on all the time. He might not have ever worshipped anything, but he's still a devotee. He might have arrived at it through meditation, through love, through worship, but he is a devotee because he is on, all the time on. If this. I just want to um, include there, whenever he says on, like what he's saying is exactly what I mean when I say keeping my glass full. That's what I really mean, like, staying on, or that's what he means, that's my version of it, you know, keeping my glass full, not overwhelming myself or underwhelming myself, staying engaged, staying evolving, um, but yeah, let's keep on the video. He definitely has, um, way more wisdom to break it down than I do, at least at this moment doesn't come, then the journey becomes long. The journey unnecessarily becomes long. So devotion, how to practice devotion? There is no such thing. If you practice devotion, it's fake. It's no good. Only when you see something as larger than yourself, bigger than yourself, there is a possibility of devotion. If you're too full of yourself, there is no question of devotion. So, what do I have to do to bring devotion in me? Everything that you're in touch with right now, you tell me, you are bigger or the air that you are breathing right now is bigger? Hmm? Don't give me hot air, okay? You really think so? Now, you are going to sit there and eat your food, which is bigger, you or the food in your plate? You became big only because of the food that you ate, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, depending upon how much food you eat, that is how you're becoming bigger. You have what nonsense, a heap of food in my plate, is that bigger? But three days if we don't give you food, fourth day, <laughs> devotion will come. <laughs> You are bigger or the earth on which you are walking is bigger? Not bigger in size, which is more important, which is higher. Ha! Huh. That soil, in America we call it dirt. Tell me, you are bigger or dirt is bigger? Now, every moment of your life, whatever you are in touch with right now, whatever you behold, if you see that as higher than yourself, you will become a devotee. Hmm. So, uh, if you want to become a devotee, at least once an hour, once an hour, in all the wakeful moments of your life, bow down to something, somebody, it doesn't matter who, don't choose. Whatever is in with you right now, right now if you see a tree, bow down to it. You see a mountain, bow down to it. You see somebody, bow down. 
appreciate a cat or an elephant or a cow appreciate anything anything that you see you bow down once a hour just do it through the day see if it can become once a minute after once it becomes once a minute you can't be using your hands and your body to bow down you simply do it within yourself mm. once be it becomes that's your way then you're a devotee a devotee does not mean you are a walk over that which bends will never break that which knows how to bend will not break that is why in the morning you are doing the yoga so that your body doesn't break up <laughs> otherwise it will break up i'm telling you <laughs> every day if you're bending it it will not break if you don't know how to bend it will break that is so with everything within you if you learn to bow if you learn to hold everything higher than yourself so you learn to look up to everything you will become devote a devotee is not a brainless bimbo a devotee is a different level of intelligence which silly logical minds cannot understand because a devotee once you are like this that you don't think much of yourself then your perception is enlarged he knows things that you cannot even imagine he can grasp things that you have to struggle with for the rest of your life because that's the nature of devotion there is not much in much of you within yourself when there is no self you are ready for the super self hmm. so yeah whenever he talks about devotion um i'm saying the same thing with keeping my glass full really he just has a way more deeper understanding of what that is, what that is, obviously. And, um, but yeah, I'm on my way. And that's really my, that's really my, my North Star, I, I would say. Living in that state of devotion, because I think that's the way that I'm going to achieve the most in my life, that I'm going to be able to really live up to my potential in all aspects of my life. So yeah, that's that. Good way to finish tonight. Good way to finish the night before I launch the YouTube. Tonight's gonna be, I mean, tomorrow's gonna be a big day. Um, yeah. I'm excited for what's to come. I hope y'all are too. Well, y'all probably don't, y'all are probably not as excited because you don't have the full vision. And I got it. I got the full fucking dose, man. I know what I got coming. But yeah, peace out. Trust, it's coming. My baby. What baby? What baby? Shut up. Intuition, that's the rhythm that I'm grooving with. Groovin Tell me with. what's your energy. Show me what you're moving with. I ain't new to this. I'm stupid. The only real revolution happens right inside of you. I said what good is taking over when we know what you're gonna do. The only real revolution happens right inside of you.